What up guys, it's James Mycewi, you can add me at the Diary of a Monist. If you get any value from this video at all, please like, subscribe, comment, it really helps with my channel a lot in terms of the YouTube algorithm. So cool, let's get into it man. Today we're going to look at the science behind writing your goals down in your goal book. Like, writing your goals down is like one of those things you know it's important but you really never really get around doing it. It's kind of like exercising. You know all the health benefits but you opted away anyway. But Research shows that it's so beneficial to write your goals down and it contributes so much to you actually achieving those goals instead of keeping them in the mind and actually writing down on paper and here's why. Okay, the first reason I'm going to talk about is there's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system, in short for RUS. It's so crucial to the goal achievement process. Your RUS is a cluster of cells located at the base of your brain. That processes all the information and sensory channels related to the things that need our attention right now. So the RUS brings information to your existence on topics or things you're interested in. My favorite example is the car example. So like if you go into a dealership, you get inside the dealership, you're test driving a VW, you get in the VW and you go around it and you, when you walk out of the dealership, all of a sudden you keep seeing that very same VW. So those VWs were always there. The only reason why it's coming to your attention now is because you've activated your RUS to gather all information re related to the VW. So it works the same way when you're writing down your goals. So when you write down your goal, your RUS gets the instruction to get a particular goal and is attentive to all related information you would need to get achieve that goal. Your brain has, will go through all the memory files. Your subconscious mind is always active to look for information that will actually propel you to achieving that goal and filters out unnecessary information. Your RUS is effectively activated when you actually write your goal down with a pen on paper. So if you do not write down your goal or effectively activate your RUS, your brain might filter out information that could have been relevant and needed to actually better your life or your current um, situation. An example of this is if you had a goal in mind that you wanted to get a job you must be always aware your subconscious mind is always alert, is always trying to receive information to try and help you and achieve that particular goal. So if, you, if your RUS is activated when you're walking down the street or you're walking past a pick and pay notice board, you, your brain will stop you and make you notice a poster on the notice board of a vacancy like you're actually looking for a job. Where if your RUS is not activated, you would most likely just pass by it and not even notice that there's a notice board at all, be on your phone or that type of steed. Okay, so here's a fun exercise. Notice the animal behind the snake. Look at the color of, 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 of the thing it's sitting on, the texture. Now please just do me a favor and close your eyes for two seconds. And tell me which animals were on the far right on the tree. My point exactly, this is what the rust does. So because I tuned your rust towards the snake and the animal behind, your brain filtered out the rest of the picture because it was considered irrelevant. So the same process happens with your goals. When you write down your goals, you narrow down, you, you focus, you zone in to a particular goal. And all the information that is needed will, will come into your being or your reality or into your existence for you to achieve that particular goal. Okay, cool. So the second reason why it's such a great idea to write down your goals and make it become a habit is when you write down your goals, you tend to become one with the goal that you're writing down, making you more motivated. So a study from Cornell University researched a phenomenon called the endowment effect. This is when you take ownership of an object, idea, or person and attach it to your personal identity. So this is the same reason why Kendrick Lamar fans and J. Cole fans would take it to the streets and be willing to fight over their opinions on who's the best rapper because they have identified themselves personally with them. The endowment effect doesn't require actual ownership or possession to come to play. But when you write your goals and read them daily and you identify with them and you picture you already having achieved that goal, your subconscious mind will use all its power to make sure you achieve it. It will go against bad habits such as procrastination, um, such as laziness. You will automatically be more motivated and more fired up to actually achieve that goal. And writing your goal down and reading it over and over creates stronger connections within your brain for you to identify with that goal with your personal identity and for the endowment effect to actually help you with achieving your goal. 
Okay, so the last important point I'm going to speak on about why it's important to write down your goals comes from modern psychology where they have proved that the subconscious mind cannot distinguish between reality and imagined reality. So when you write down your goals and imagine and visualize your goal, you actually activate your brain to achieve it. Even your brain's hardware changes for that particular achievement, for that particular goal. A study done by Berkham and colleague in 2009 proved that people who visualize before acting promote effective goal settings because your subconscious mind is actually believing it's happening. It goes to the endowment effect about identifying with it. And in this channel, we believe in the law of attraction. So when your mind actually believes that it's going to achieve it, it attracts it into its physical manifestation. Cool. So the bigger question is, how do you set goals? You have to set a specific goal. Try not to be vague. Have smaller goals which lead you to achieving the bigger goal and just builds towards the ultimate goal the power of seeing smaller goals being achieved creates confidence within you creates faith creates motivation creates hope and the human mind loves feedback anyway it needs to look for evidence of our progress so you have to have a measurement of your goal It's very vital to have a tracking system so if your goal is the gym related write down how many pull-ups today how many pull-ups tomorrow the measurement of your goal is not about result but it's more about you showing up it's about you participating within the process because the process is so important the process is just as important i mean zimmerman in 2008 did a study where he trained three groups of people how to throw dots so group one was told to simply try their best to get the highest possible score so this group was told to focus on outcome. Group two was told to optimize on the process of being a good dot thrower. So how to put their arm back, how to adjust the angle, how to have firm grip. They were taught the process. But group three began with learning the process of how to throw the dot and developing their skills and then switched to an outcome. So they were taught how to have a process and an outcome approach in achieving a goal. And obviously group 3 did the best and group 1 did the worst. The process is important. Like this study is echoed by also Dominican University of California where they did a study and they found that goal scripting, literally having an action plan that you can be committed to and measure up helps so much and increases the probability of you actually achieving that goal. Lastly, form a mastermind with a peer, have accountability with a peer, with a friend, that you can be committed with a goal, that you need to have a progress report, you update weekly, you update monthly, it will keep you on track and just have persistence, you will achieve it. Thanks a lot guys, you can admit the data for Monist, if you guys have any discussions, any questions, any contributions, feel free to comment below or DM me and we can set up a whole... Um, Skype call, Zoom call, whatever is comfortable with you. I'm more than happy for that. James Mancini, y'all, Derek from Honest. No, I wrote every single success I had first in the journal.